guys, it's Watercolor Kitten here. Um, I was recently asked how I got my hair to be this light in color, so I decided to make a video explaining what I use to get my hair this light, and also uh, tips for caring for hair um, when it goes under this treatment. I do have to say, first off, if you want to get your hair this light, because um, my natural hair color is brown, uh, like you can probably see from my eyebrows, I had had about a medium brown hair, like as my natural color, and um, so lightening it, yes you do have to bleach it, there's no way to get around damaging your hair because you do have to bleach it for that. Um, but you can, there, there's ways so that it can be healthy at the same time. So, um, the products I use, I use this uh, powder bleach that I bought from Sally's. I bought this on sale for around $13 to $14, which um, I definitely, um, I advise purchasing the larger container over the smaller little packets for individual applications because the in individual applications will cost more in the long run because it's, I think they give you about an ounce or so for like a three or four dollar packet and this is 16 ounces. So you can see you're definitely saving money if you buy more than if you buy the smaller applications. Um, and with that, you're also going to need some developer. I use this developer in a level 40. And um, I know it's, it's a little bit on the stronger side. So if you have a sensitive scalp, I recommend going even like even as low as a 20. But 30 is generally um, OK. But 40 is just stronger, so it lifts more with the bleach. Um, I've bleached my hair quite a few times, but, um, after every time I bleach, and like every single day basically, I've been using this toning shampoo, which, um, I definitely recommend it if, you know, you, you don't want to be seen as one of those newbies in the, uh, bleaching world because toning shampoo is probably the only thing that will get your hair like this light will helping keep it healthy because you could get it this white if you bleach it and bleach it and bleach it but that's just going to damage your hair and really dry it out the toning shampoo takes away the yellow tones so it's not as drastic but it will lighten your hair up like with use and give it more of like white tones than yellow tones and um, white hair is generally ideal if you're looking to color it with those um, colors such as like pinks and blues because I, I can speak from experience you can't have blue hair if you have yellowy bleached hair because it will turn it green not blue so white hair, it's just, it's like mixing paint. You, you don't want to put blue into yellow, it'll get green. If you put blue onto white, well, just, it, it just, it stays blue. It's a little, it might be a little bit lighter, but depending on what color you use. But, yeah. I think that's mostly it. Uh, just keep be sure to condition it, condition it, condition it, and don't bleach it, like, so frequently, because that's just going to kill your hair. Uh, also, you don't want to wash your, like, scrub your hair, like, like, I wash my hair every day, but I only wash it with a really, really light shampoo, and I, I just run it through and then rinse, only because I don't, like, having really really oily hair but those oils do help um, so I mean if if you're not going outside your house then you can skip a shower I guess like no one's gonna see you no one's gonna care that your hair is like oily and stuff but those oils help 
maintain the health of your hair. So uh, if you have any other questions for me, feel free to leave it in the comment box, comment on my Facebook page, um, and I can follow up with uh, answering your questions if you have any. So um, thank you. I hope this helped a lot of you. Bye. Mwah.